Accountability Partners, David Halpern here. I got a good one for, for you today. Hector Aguilar asked this excellent question, superb question. Actually, one of my favorite questions for a while. It's, can you suggest daily action items for us, for, for the people that are in this accountability program? Ooh, you know what, that, that's a great question because that's asking, how do I operate on a daily basis? What do I do on a daily basis to be the best businessman or best businesswoman I can be? And I'm going to actually give you seven steps, if you don't mind, sort of five or daily and two or a little more like weekly. So here we go. Number one, a morning routine, morning routine. If I ask you what percentage of great producers in business have a morning routine of some kind, I know your answer. It's 100 percent. I've been asking this question for a long time. So you should have some kind of morning routine. And that morning routine, almost every great morning routine includes some form of gratitude, some form of exercise some form of meditation affirmation or devotionals, some form of, um, you know, journaling best experiences from the past. You know, the, the one I always recommend is The Happiness Advantage, a book by Sean Acor, A-C-H-O-R. Morning routine number one, no doubt, because we are acknowledging that the great battle for business is the battle for the six inches of precious real estate between our ears. And that battle starts first thing every morning. Morning routine would be the first thing I'd recommend for you. Number two, if I were, I hate to do the if I were you. So if I were you, I would set up the text at 8 a.m. every morning. Why? Because I'd like to get that text to remind me of what are my three priorities for the day or what are the three actionable items I'm chasing. And I'd like to reply to that text immediately. And by the way, I like, I, I would just reply with the yes, no, 18, two, keep it short because the purpose of the text is not really what you say in the text. The purpose of the text is that you're thinking about those items and reminding yourself on a daily basis, I got to move the first down chains. So I do the text first thing in the morning, if it were me, okay? Number three, I would have a daily huddle with somebody in your office or somebody that you have access to. In other words, a quick, it could be by phone, it could be another person by text. You text the same three numbers to, and they text you their numbers, or you meet them in person at the office if you're in an office environment. It's a quick huddle. It's literally 60 seconds per person max. You're repeating those numbers. You're off and you go to work. But it's reinforcing this daily urgency around a business. Number three. Number four. Um, if you ask me what questions would be my daily accountability questions, oh, uh, gosh. Truthfully, uh, in my business, which is now a little more developed and has there's some complexity to it. Uh, there would be three. Are you ready? Number one is how many new leads did I capture today? How many new names, phones, and emails did I capture today? And, and many of you know I'm obsessive about it because that's what builds your databases, multiple databases. Uh, you know, there are days where I capture yesterday, I think it was three business cards. Eh, you know, I like to target five. The day before that was only, it was like two and the day before only one, but last Friday in an event was a lot, a couple hundred. Okay. My second question would be how many social media posts or maybe more importantly, how many direct asks did I message people for an appointment? Either one of them's good. So it could be that today I posted twice on Facebook and somebody copied it for me onto LinkedIn and Instagram and Twitter. So that's like eight posts or whatever, right? If you think about it, or maybe on a certain day instead, I sent out 350 messages through Facebook Messenger, texting, LinkedIn, direct, uh, Instagram direct messaging, et cetera, with a short script inviting people to meet with me, right? A yes or no question. Uh, so how many direct asks for an appointment or posts would be my question. Number three, how many appointments did we go on? Face-to-face -face with potential new clients. That is the bread and butter of every service-based business in America. That doesn't apply to everybody in our accountability program, but really that's kind of the, the key metric here. So those would be probably my three questions for me, okay, if you're curious. Uh, but I do have some other stuff I'll share with you on this. I'm actually tracking a few other numbers behind the scenes also. I'm tracking the pipeline also, if that makes sense, okay? So what is the pipeline? The pipeline would be how many hot leads do I have? Number two, how many are in pipeline now, if that makes any sense? And the third one is how many transactions have closed in a year? Again, it depends on the industry you're in. So that would be number five would be I'd actually be tracking three of the pipeline, if you will, outside of the accountability program. OK, number six and seven are the weekly tasks. Number six would be join our every other week, currently Wednesday conference call for 30 minutes because I'm always going to be sharing items of business coach 
uh, business coaching practice and, uh, and importance for you. And the other thing is every other Thursday in the alternating weeks, we're now doing an Accountability University live mastermind by Zoom that you're getting the text messages for. I get on those calls. Um, and that would be really my daily, my encouragement for you. You know, every morning I'm sending out those daily inspiration texts and videos. I would watch the video immediately when it comes in each morning. Why? Because they're three to five minutes max, but they're going to give you the fuel that you need to build your business. So in any event, uh, yeah, what I shared with you all is how to use, or maybe, I don't know about best use, but how to use this accountability program for daily impact. I hope this was helpful, folks. Keep on building. My question for you is, what one item will you change in your daily routine based on what I just shared with you on this video?